With Texas A&M's second season in the SEC a little less than two months away, it's news off of the field that has fans' attention. I can't believe it happened to A&M yet again. It seems like uh, we are on the forefront of all the scrutiny over the internet, social media, and and um, TV networks all over. I was a little shocked. Uh, I would just, um, I'm not surprised. Uh, you know, I've been seeing a lot of uh, instances with other football players. It's been happening. Uh, I think it's starting to get a little out of hand and uh, starting to be getting more controlled. Strong words for DeShazer Everett and Floyd Raven. Arrested and charged with two misdemeanor counts of assault and one count of criminal mischief stemming from an incident on April 7th. The College Station police say started with an argument at the Hookah Station in Northgate when Everett and Raven sprayed champagne everywhere and ended with the players and the victims fighting at Parkway Place Apartments. Of course, there's always two sides to a story, and they were charged and arrested. Um, I just feel like they'll have their day in court, and until we hear both stories and until they're actually convicted, uh, sometimes you have to give people the benefit of the doubt. But Chaz thinks it's clear that one person can put a significant stop to the Aggies off-field issues. I just think Coach someone needs to tighten down a little bit on uh, some of the social media and some of the um, actions of our players. We're, we're being looked at under a microscope right now. But the Ags will have the national spotlight soon enough. Whether they're ready for it or not remains to be seen. Chris Vlahos, KAGS HD News.